now. iPhone, iPad, iPod, i anything. Who <laughs> I tweet with. <laughs> All benefited from his genius, and now the highly anticipated Steve Jobs movie is going to be out soon. And to see if the movie does the great mind justice, Jim Ferguson joins us. Hey, Jim. Hey, guys. Good to see you. Yeah, it's getting award time. You know, we're yeah. getting, we're pushing there, and Steve Jobs, of course, uh, Universal is pushing it for an award. Seth Rogen plays Steve Wozniak, uh, who was the chief engineer on the circuit board and building the IMAX. And he had a big run in with Steve Jobs. And he said, You know, I'm part of the engineering team that built, the, made the computer. What did you do? What did you do, Steve Jobs? You did nothing. Wow. Uh, why are they calling you, as Tina just said, a genius? You don't deserve to be a genius. Wow. Here's Seth Rogen, who we usually see in comedy, right. Right. playing Steve Wozniak, the chief engineer of the first computer. Would you agree that your character, Steve Wozniak, uh, and Steve Jobs had a love-hate relationship? Is that accurate? Uh, in the movie or in real life? In the movie. In the movie, yes, very much so. Um, <laughs> yeah, they go at it pretty hard at times, and at the same time, I think their shared history and, um, you know, just the time they've known each other and the mm -hmm. impact they know they've had on one another uh, makes it impossible for them to truly uh, disdain one another. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, there's a lot of confrontation. A lot of history there. A yes. lot of history there. Yeah. Was he more of the hands-on with the technology than Steve? Uh, he was 100% hands-on, whereas Steve yeah. Jobs uh, was 100% hands CEO. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, Wozniak is an engineer. Uh, he is the one who physically was able to create a circuit board for a computer that was the mm -hmm. size of something that could fit on your desk as opposed to something that could fit uh, in an auditorium. Yeah. So, and, and that was, he physically did it. And Steve Jobs was the one who looked at it and thought, I could sell these to every human on the planet. <laughs> the salesman, and yeah. so um, that is the distinction mm -hmm. between the two. It's kind of like cookies and milk. You need both. You need the engineer yeah, guy, you need yeah. the sales guy. Jobs yeah. pretty much looked at what was done and okayed it or didn't like it, you know, that, that sort of thing. But he did not hands-on at all with the computer. <laughs> and the film brings that out, I think, you know, and uh, uh, Michael Fasten, uh, who plays Steve Jobs, is a wonderful performance, and I think... Heather, he's got a good shot at a nomination. You think so, huh? I think so. Wow. He's really good at Steve Jobs, really. It's too bad I didn't get to talk to him. I know, uh, but you did get to talk to somebody else. Well, I did. The director, right. Danny Boyle. Do you remember Slumdog Millionaire? Yeah. He won the Oscar as Best Director. He's one of my favorite directors, and this was one of my favorite all-time interviews. Here's wow. the director of Steve Jobs, Danny Boyle. Danny, did you have any concerns about directing... Aaron Sorkin's screenplay. <laughs> I, I can imagine that. Is that going to take up the whole interview? It could. I mean, yeah. you, you get a, the script. Scripts are normally yeah. like 100, 120 pages max. This is like 185 pages of dialogue. Yeah. There's no stage direction. You've never done anything like that. No, I've never, never. I mean, it's it's it's, it's even more than a, a regular play on stage. You know, mm -hmm. it's much more than that. And so it's initially you think, wow, what, what are we going to do? But in, it's and actually it's an invitation to a director and an actor to own it mm -hmm. and to kind of it's a provocation to you. Three scenes. Th six characters, 180 pages, wow. and that's it. That's all the information you have, and it's just day interior. What are you going to do? So mm -hmm. it's actually a wonderful opportunity to kind of stamp, put a mark on it of what you intend to do with it, and that's what we tried to do with yeah. it. Mm -hmm. You've got to own it, and he rewards you. If, if you're intimidated by it, it doesn't quite sit in their mouths, no. but if you own it, it's wonderful. You describe uh, Steve Jobs as a Shakespearean, a man of Shakespearean proportions. Yes. What did you mean by that? It's th because he, he, what Sorkin's done is he's taken a real guy. I mean, this is what Shakespeare used to do. You take a real guy, and there's some facts in there that are true, and there's some that are actually not invented, but that are developed, mm -hmm. really, to illustrate an essence of truth about him, which is that he achieved incredible things, which nobody denies, and, uh, and, and, and also he had enormous power and influence and success, and yet within it there, is, there are flaws. 
really, which is why Shakespeare's the writer is that we, we see, and the flaw brings him back or whoever that person is to us because mm -hmm. we all share those flaws in many ways. And so it has that Shakespearean element about it. Now, you guys make a living doing interviews, right? Would you like to talk to oh, him? Oh, yeah. Is he He's something a good else? He's a good and talker. it goes on and on. I mean, we couldn't shut him up. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I love it. those. Yeah. Uh, he's just great, isn't he? Yeah, yeah he's great. Now, speaking of great, we have a guest on Friday, Jeff Daniels, who plays the salesman for the first iMac. Uh, and uh, he is always good to talk to, Jeff Daniels. He'll be here Friday as we continue our week of Steve Jobs, which doesn't open till a week from Friday. So when, we have a lot of people to talk to. When are you going to give us your grade? I'm going to do that the opening day, a opening week from day. Friday. Okay. Yeah. But we have more interviews, good interviews coming up. Yeah. yeah, leading up. Okay, well, I can't wait to see what you think because you always give us some good advice. And like you said, award season is just around the corner.